now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Truck Weather Bulletin for August 3rd. Well, here we are on the 215th day of the year. We have even more storms than we did yesterday. Uh, Tropical Storm Hilda, which retained Category 1 earlier but has since weakened again. Ignacia, which got named and will die tomorrow. The remnants of 9E, which now have a high chance of formation. 13W, which is a tropical depression. And the remnants of 12W, which we have as a 6 hour tropical depression or storm. It's day 64 of Atlantic hurricane season, and we have a 20% chance AOI near the Cape Verde Islands. Uh, some development is possible before it enters cooler waters on Thursday, so a low chance for now. We'll see what happens as we continue the, over the next few days. It's day 80 of Eastern Pacific hurricane season. Tropical storms held in Ignacia now on a weakening trend here on out. Uh, the remnants of 9E now at a 70% chance of formation in another AOI south of Mexico with a 20% chance of development as well. In the Western Pacific, it's quite crazy here as well. 12W, which was only a 6-hour tropical cyclone by our analysis. 13W, which is likely to become a tropical storm as it passes uh, south of China and shoots the gap in between Taiwan. And 2 invest that could collide with one another later on, possibly become a typhoon with 97W. In the North Indian Ocean, we're looking at nothing going on here. That land depression, of course, is now long gone at this point, although the remnants can still be traced. Uh, but regardless, it is now returning to what you would normally expect for this time of year here. In the Atlantic, not really much to see. You can kind of see what is going on with that surface trough that is being monitored for development on the bottom right of your screen there. Other than that, just some frontal activity as to what you would normally expect uh, with frontal systems in general. And of course, we will be seeing that activity tick up in the second half of the month. And the Eastern Pacific, you can quite clearly see the three systems that work here, Hilda in the middle, uh, and then you can see Ignacio to the right of it, and what is left of 9E, uh, and what is going to become 9E again as we head into the rest of this week. In the Western Pacific, we're looking at a giant mess of activity going on here, 13W to the left there, 12W to the more to the right there, and then of course you can see 97 and uh, 99W, um, if I'm making sure I get those invests right, 97W is located east of Taiwan, and 99 is located pretty much to the west, uh, or west-southwest of uh, tw what is left of 12W there. In the North Indian Ocean, you can clearly see what is left of that land depression. It's still holding on pretty nicely, considering how far it is inland, and how long it has been inland. So it is pretty interesting to see that it still has some trace amounts of circulation there. But looking back at the floater imagery for uh, 99W there, that is going to become something that might be a short-lived tropical storm. However, there's a question as to what will happen between that and 97W, considering the fact that those may interact. Uh, the GFS does make 97W a significant typhoon, Category 2, passing just south of Tokyo. Something to watch there in the next few days for sure. Here are the sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific. You can see those 29 to 30 degrees for the much of the uh, tropical eastern Pacific. As you get more west, it goes down to about 27 to 28. Gulf of Mexico continues to warm up to 30 to 31 degrees Celsius in spots now, uh, especially as you get into coastal Louisiana. The main development region, especially where the uh, new area OI is about 27 to 28 degrees Celsius there. Uh, so not exactly the most favorable, but it is slowly getting there. In the uh, North Indian Ocean, we're starting to see some cooling continue in the Bay of Bengal. There's some areas that are now 26 to 27 degrees Celsius uh, popping up for relatively. The basin remains at 28, and of course the Philippines Sea is remaining around 30 degrees Celsius, with much of the Western Pacific remaining around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius overall. The Southern Hemisphere remaining generally cool as per usual there. After all, we are not in the season for a few more months in that hemisphere. So, looking at those sea surface temperature anomalies, the Sea of Japan as well as the areas east of it continues to be exceptionally warm. Subtropic Pacific as well as the subtropical Atlantic remain pretty warm. And then of course those end zone neutral conditions continuing on. And that cold that's starting to slowly fade away across the California-Hawaii region. Something to be uh, mindful of over the next few weeks. On this day in 1995, we had Hurricane Aaron, which briefly peaked as a Category 2 before it made landfall in Florida, as at that intensity or just below it, uh, of 
course, 1995 was a very hyperactive year in the Atlantic, the first to be considered such. 6E formed in the Eastern Pacific and would become Tropical Storm Eric. Uh, of course, uh, 1995 in the Eastern Pacific was the least active there since 1979. Of course, on this day is powered by Cyclone History. You can find their Twitter down on the bottom right. Well, with that said, that brings us to the next names. Next name in the Atlantic is Fred, followed by Grace. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Humana, followed by Kevin. And in the Central Pacific, we're still awaiting the United States Postal Service's delivery of Hone, which does not appear to be anytime soon. Moving on to the Western Pacific, the next name there is Lupit, followed by Marine. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're still looking at for Gulab and Shaheen, two names we probably will not be seeing until the second peak of the season, which will likely be some point this fall. Moving on to the Southern Hemisphere, next in the Southwest Indian Ocean is Anna, followed by Batsire. In the Australian region, we're looking out for Patty and Ruby. And in the South Pacific, it's Cody. I'll be back for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.